Oh, well, so we're touching on the two activities of the cross, all right? We're touching on the two activities of the cross. We're touching on its stabilizing and establishing activity and its dividing and its bounding activity. So the cross is both a cross, well, we know it's the tree because he is the tree of life, right? And his words are the words of life. So let's, let's receive that into the innermost of the inner brothers and sisters. So in continuing this part, let's go, let's go over the first uh, activity he disclosed, which was the stabilizing activity when Yeshua, when he yeses, he said that which or who, one who does not lift up their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. So we have to get off of the ego and the she-go. You know what I'm saying? We have to crucify that. We have to watch the words. Right? It says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Now, you can pray that. You can chant that. You can jump around. You can get into niggerations if you want to. But unless you follow through in the spirituality of that word, right, and check what you say and watch what you say, yeah, both of yourself and of your neighbor. This is why some folks are not making very much progress. And I have to tell you, you know, now I have to correct. I have to correct. I have to, in him and through him, punish as well as reproof. But it's not, it's not me doing it. I'm just, I'm just a messenger. You understand? So you can... You know, what, you want to crucify the messenger? That's all right. I'm carrying my cross. What about you? Mm-hmm. I'm following him. What are you following yourself? If you're following yourself, you're going to wreck yourself. So next he says in Mark 10 and 21, which is a variation of one who does not lift up his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. He says, lift up the cross. Lift it up. Right? Follow me. He didn't say follow me, and then when you, after you follow me, lift. No, the first thing is the cross, is the mezcal, right? Even though many of the disciples may not have fully understood since certain things were not fulfilled until they were fulfilled, we understand. This has been written, as his majesty says, for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world have come, right? Now he discloses its bounding activity where it becomes a boundary, the mezcal, right, is a boundary when he says, I have not come to bring shalom. I might say shalom, but I and I have not come to bring shalom, but a sword, and that sword is the word of Jah, Rastafari, the word of the King of Kings and his Christ. Like it or lump it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to unfriend me. You're going to dislike it. You, uh, ask, ask yourself, do I, I and I care? What I and I care about is the good news of the King of Kings. So, so be rebuked. I be rebuked. We all be rebuked. Rebuke is good for I and I. But the fool doesn't take the rebuke, right? Because the fool has allowed the ego, you understand, has allowed the ego to reign. And therefore is, is set up in a sense like Iscariot was because they are going not after the Abba but after the world. Right? So this is very important for I and I. Right? This is very important for I and I to understand. And it says, woe right, to the man that draws back his hand from blood. Right? From blood. Right? In other words, that sword is the word of God. And, of course, you speak the word of God to some folks, you're going to offend them. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but, you know, an offense, you know, the truth is an offense. The truth is an offense, but it's not a chatiyat. And this Passover is all about the atonement, coming into that awonement, right? Having our cross, a line of his cross, then we are rightly following him in spirit and in truth. Johannes, he also, they say, disclosed, right, this boundary activity, John the, the baptizer, he also spoke about this, this, this boundary, and it's a boundary. You have, you have to have a, it's like put a, put a, put a, put a, a guard on my lips, O oh Father, so I don't sin against you. You know, so you say, yes, 
Rastafari, then you're saying and doing things that are contrary to his spirit and his will. So you're over where the boundary comes in so that one can mature and stop being immature. You're over saying and learn to forgive and to overcome. That doesn't mean that judgment won't be judgment for those who fail to repent. You understand? But it's what way he say to we and what is our faithfulness in following he. Matthew 3 and 12 and Luke 3 and 17 speaks to this effect. His winnowing fork is in his hand, right? The winnowing fork, for those who might not know, is like um, on a farm, you know, when they are um, 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 uh, with the wheat, you know, when they are winnowing the wheat, throwing it through the ear with the, with the pitchfork, right? So his winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat, his wheat, right, into his granary. That granary is his society, is his tabernacle, is his church, where we're being called out of the world into his kingdom. But the chaff, right, the tabia, right, the chaff, he will burn. He will burn it, right, with unquenchable fire. But let's understand this. And, and we don't want to be the chaff. You should not want to be the chaff. And if you think you are the wheat, just check yourself, right? In this passage, the activity of the boundary is supposedly disclosed, uh, Potomi says right here. For according to their interpretation, which is I and I interpretation, that winnowing fork, right, that winnowing fork is the cross, right? Not just the cross, oh, look at the cross on my wall. Oh, look at the cross around my neck. Oh, look at the cross over there. No, I'm carrying the cross even, even in my flesh, right? For according to this interpretation, the winnowing fork is the cross, the mezcal. The latter, right, also consumes all material elements, all material, all worldly elements as fire, right, as the isat, the divine intelligence consumes chaff. So this is the spirituality process where we meditate and check ourselves, as it says in um, Corinthians. I think uh, Hawadi Apollo says this in Corinthians, and this is very much in tune with Passover, because remember, Passover, the unleavened bread, the first fruit, resurrection. You understand? We have eye in our eyes on the prize. We have eye in our eyes on the resurrection. You understand? The overcoming, where, where death is swallowed up in his life. So we've got to be in his life to receive of his promise. Here's the order and the meaning of Gita's table. Right, which is the Pesach table, which is the Passover table, which is the whole reason for the season. Verse uh, 23 of First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, it says, For I have received, I have Kabbalah of Adonai, of Gieta, that which also I delivered to you. I'm sharing with you that which I first delivered was, was given even speaking about the Gnostic uh, mythos. It's what I first was given. I was meditating. You know, I really didn't touch on this. And true, the cross is a symbol. The cross is where Yeshua was crucified on that tree, on that cross. But yet there's a deeper inner meaning where we have to crucify our own ego and she go. So we don't be Eden and Sheden, right? <laughs> Eden and Sheden on ourselves, right? that Adoni Yeshua, the same night in which he was betrayed, what did he do? He took up the bread. Now, remember the, the unleavened bread, right? And even check out the yachat, right, the unleavened bread and the breaking of that bread, which is the breaking of his body, right? His body was broken for us so that we don't have to be running around here broke in spirit, broke in our psychology, all, all crazy like, you understand, all spooked out, you understand, and broke in our flesh, in, in our health, in our, in our finances, or any of that. You, you see, you're not really overstanding because you're still on that Gentile whitewash. 
right? But you, but like they said, no uh, white bread, no white flour, no white sugar, no white rice, and, and definitely no white Jesus. You have to understand that, if you will. You know what I'm Don't be colorblind, right, to the color of the cross. So in that same night in which he was betrayed, betrayed by who? The one going after the materiality. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, my brothers and sisters, I've got to say this. Some of y'all, I always, yeah, you, we need money to get to Africa. We need money to do this and that. And, and all of them things are come. All of them things is already here. But the first things first, brothers and sisters, y'all think that John 1, I and I, in a spirituality but broke living in this world, you must be crazy because you're still going after your own ego. You understand? You're putting the cart before the horse. That's what Judas did. It's carried. Ask Rotawi. That's what he did, right? And you're only going to be hanging yourself. You've got to recognize that, right? Verse 24 says, And when he had given thanks, when he had given miskana, what did he do? He broke it. He broke the bread. That's the yachat. The yachat, if you check out um, the, the Seder, the Passover Seder, I think it's on page, uh, what is it? Uh, forget which page, six, seven, around there, but you can see on the table of contents, Yachatz, Y-A-C-H-A-Z. That means uh, Yikafa, you understand? Um, Yikafa, you understand? To, um, to break, to divide, you understand? Um, to break, this is where the bread is broken, right? The bread is broken. And, and now that, that there's a beautiful symbology right there. His body was broken so that we who have been broken – right, can be made whole. You have to recognize that divine, you know, the divine, the tawahido, the mawahad, that, that, that faith that was once delivered to the saints, that Satan has tried to hoodwink and bamboozle people and have people running after, you know, bunny rabbits and, and, and Easter eggs and stuff like that. So it says right here that he break it and he said, take, eat, right, this is my body. Now, there's no cannibalism here. This is spirituality. This is why a lot of folks don't recognize it because they still have a fleshy mind. They still got a fleshy mind. So you, you explain it, but they'll say, but still, did it have to be? You, you see, Satan just got control of them. You always know, pray for them, but keep it moving, right? Which is broken. It's broken for you. He says, this do in remembrance of me. So this is the reason for the season. This we do in who? Remembrance of what? We, right? We're not remembering, you know, our silly ancestors, you understand, who in a sense got us into the situation, you understand. We forgive them, you understand. We forgive them in Yeshua. But now I and I must move forward, so we must know what the way, the truth, and the life. Cause otherwise, one is going to be astray in lies and in the death covenant, fire bun, right? Verse 25, it says, after the same manner also, in the same way, right, when he gave the, the, the Baruch Ata Adonai, right, he took the cup when he had supped, saying this, right, this cup is the New Testament, is the Hadith Kidan. This is something new, brothers and sisters. So when we think about discipleship, it's something new. It's not, oh, I was always like this. Well, this is how I am. You've got to crucify that. You understand? If there's anything good to it that he finds good, well, it says in, in Psalm 23, he restore our soul. He'll restore that aspect of our psychos, our suke, our nefs, right? But this cup is the New Testament in my blood, in his blood. Now, blood is a symbol of life. Recognize that Genesis chapter 9. Read that code there. Overstand that blood is a symbol of life, right? This do ye, right? This we do. We drink of that cup, right? Even in a new and a spiritual way. Mm-hmm. Even the Aishans is a new and a spiritual way. You understand? Some say, well, why do you think the tabernacle, there was that smoke, right? The altar of Aishans. But he says, he says, he says um, this do as ye oft, as often as ye drink of it. Interesting, the original ancient Ethiopian idea of even smoking, what we call smoking with the kind of besom, was actually drinking. You understand? That's why we have the chalice, in other words, which is the cup. 
he says, as oft that ye drink of it in remembrance of me. So even when we are abundant and we say, yes, this is the Isla Sacrament, do we really do it in remembrance of him? I have to admit, I'm guilty. You understand that there's a time that I burn and, and it might not be in remembrance of him. You know what I'm saying? So all of that affects our walk more or less, right? Um, stay tuned. There's one more part to this on the true cross, overstanding the true cross, the Ethiopic Code.